Hi guys, in that demo we will integrate S3, uh, AWS S3, AWS Lambda and Bitcoin blockchain. So the main reason is to uh, timestamp uh, changes uh, of uh, data on S3 file system uh, inside in a public ledger called blockchain. Uh, so white here and here is a brand new API and it's very simple to use and uh, it allows you to store uh, a lot of uh, transaction records in, in one transaction using Merkle tree algorithm. Uh, yeah, but let's start from, from the example. So I have uh, an S3 management console open right now and uh, I, ha I created a bucket uh, and I will upload a file to this bucket after AWS Lambda function will uh, uh, execute request to Tyrion API and Tyrion API will execute request to Bitcoin blockchain and after will send me an email link with uh, data and uh, uh, when the block will be uh, confirmed in the blockchain, it's it, when it will be actually mined, uh, I'll have a record uh, to blockchain, like an anchor uh, to my record in Bitcoin blockchain. So. Uh, here is a command, uh, echo um, hello world to a uh, temporary file with Unix timestamp uh, as a name and uh, synchronization of uh, that file to my packet, uh, let's execute it. Uh, what's actually... Yeah, so it's uh, it's uh, on S3 right now, we can uh, see it here. And, and we have an uh, event listener uh, here on Port and complete multiple upload. Uh, we can uh, we can see we use uh, lambda function, and um, and this lambda function uh, uh, located uh, here. We, we we can see the code. Uh, and but uh, uh, let's let's open a uh, code from from my desktop uh, version. And uh, uh, what we can see here, uh, the main uh, thing. Uh, uh, in this lambda handler, um, we have um, a response uh, uh, with object and we hash with object and send the hash of this object and content of this object. So I'll use uh, to tear in SDK and uh, log everything into uh, AWS logging system called CloudWatch Management. So we just got an email from here and uh, it details about our transaction. Uh, here are some I IDs from uh, here and itself and uh, and you can see our uh, data. Uh, so here is a hash uh, from here and uh, it has a uh, uh, Merkle tree of uh, uh, consists of uh, hashes uh, we sent in, in our request. Uh, we can see it inside uh, here in Explorer. Uh, for, for the new transaction, uh, there is no blockchain receipt yet, uh, because our transaction actually is not, is not mined yet. But for the old one, let's let's check for several minutes ago, we can see half of the structure uh, for our receipt and also we can check uh, independent source. You can see here we have uh, op return, it means no output transaction uh, if data stores the blockchain. And actually it's uh, it's only one valid way to uh, store data in the blockchain. So let's go back um, to our S3 and um, walk around uh, all systems we used. Okay, so we have S3 bucket and uh, use AWS CLI to synchronize data from local machine to a cloud and we created a temporary file. After a cloud code function in AWS Lambda uploaded, uh, uh, downloaded uh, S3 object from, from S3 and uh, hashed it using uh, SHA256 and uh, uh, uploaded payload uh, to Tyrion using uh, standard post request and Tyrion performed all the stuff with blockchain it handles all the password and keys and uh, you know everything and that's a great way to start and also in Tyrion we have um, um, explore inside and uh, outside if uh, we want to check uh, our data independently uh, so that's how it works uh, hope you enjoyed